In today's video, I want to show you guys how you can fix error codes or issues in NBA 2K26. Okay, for the first step, we go into the search bar. Here in the search bar, we look for the settings. So click on the settings. After that, click on uh, where is it on system and then on storage. And here we have the temporary files. So click on temporary files and here we have like uh, update cleanups. We have antivirus files and also error reports, feedback, diagnostics and something else. So and what we want to do is to remove all of these files, which is really, really important. So click on this and make sure that you remove it. And after that, we can um, close this and go into search and here we look for this cleanup. And here we can also do like a cleanup for our um, disk drive. So you select the disk drive you have installed the game on like this, click on OK. And then here you can uh, clean this up or do clean up the system files. You can also do this. OK. And yeah, after that, we close this and now we go into the search bar. And in the search bar, we look for the game. So look for NBA 2K26 or the launcher you have installed it on like Steam. So I installed it on Steam. I do this now with Steam and you follow my steps. Right click on it, open file location, right click on it again, show my options, properties and then security. Then click on edit and here you can select your account you are logged in with. I'm logged in with this account and here make sure that you have the full control for the game. So this is really, really important because this can easily fix like errors and something else. So make sure that you have all the permissions for the game. After that, click on compatibility and here you only have to copy my settings. So copy my settings, click on apply, click on OK. And now we can go in the search bar, look for the device manager, click on the device manager. And here we have like uh, disk drives, display adapters, and processors. And what we can do here is right click on our pro, uh, disk drive, other drivers, such as magnifier drivers, and here we have already installed this driver. And we do this with our disk drives, our display adapters, and our processors. And after that, your errors should be fixed. If I could help you with the video, then please leave a like and subscribe. If not, write down in the comments. We will find the solution. And then see you next time.